What's going on my friends? Today we're going to look at how to make a small little cover for the DHT11 or 11 uh, so you can use it in a reptile enclosure and not get it wet when like you missed it or if it fogs or anything like that. So we're gonna try to design our own little housing for this to keep it open to the air but to protect it from uh, falling water and spritzing and that kind of stuff. I wanted to have a really quick heart to heart with you really fast before we got into this. So I'm still working on the Loom Cube project and I think I've changed how I want to do uh, videos like that. Um, releasing just different parts of the video uh, at a time uh, might be kind of frustrating for some people. Like if they want to build it and then I just release a video about like, hey, here's how to pick out the parts. And then that's it. Then it's like, well, I want to keep building it, you know, and rightfully so. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the project, make a video, um, just like an overview about how to build it. And then I'm going to keep recording videos about different parts. So if you have more questions or need to learn something or figure something out in more detail, um, dang it, I did not put the microphone on. Okay, well, I'll put it on as soon as I'm done saying this. Um, so if you need to uh, go over something in more detail, uh, you can go and watch those videos and get some more of your questions answered or just learn a little bit more of the theory behind it or um, a little more detail about the mechanics. So let me pull up my screen capture software and we're going to go into SolidWorks. And you can use any kind of uh, 3D modeling program. Let's see, that's off a little bit. Um, oh, SolidWorks, okay. Let's pull up SolidWorks. And uh, if anyone from Desalt Systems is watching, this is a commercial license. So, okay, so we're gonna do a new part. Boom. And I don't know if I picked both of them up, but you can see there are two different sizes here. Uh, one's like a cheapo off eBay. I think they're both cheapos off eBay. One just looks more cheap, uh, this one right here. But um, there's lots of different uh, makers of these DHT breakout boards. So I'm going to oversize it a little bit because this one is obviously bigger than this one. So, um, I'll probably oversize it just so it'll work with just about any DHT11 board. Uh, I want it to, you know, work for everyone. Um, and this will be on Thingiverse uh, when I'm done with the video. So just check the description and you can download it and print it out on your own if you'd like. So let me grab my trusty calipers and going to measure. That width is 16 and a half millimeters, so I'll probably go 20. That'll work. So down here, uh, let's go with the front plane, because if you're gonna stick it on the side of a enclosure or something, like it'll be the front. That's how I think about it anyway. But you can pick whatever plane you want. Uh, let's get a full frontal view right there. Start the square, and I said 20, so do that, and this, let's see, well that's going to be uh, inside, okay, so we're going to measure the length of it, oh, turned it off, And including the pins, it's about 35 millimeters. So we'll make it 45. That'll give it plenty of room to slide up in, and you don't have to worry about it. 35. Oh, I said 45. Okay. So yeah, plenty of room. So now we have to think about how we're going to keep water off of this, um, and it still keep it open to uh, the air in the enclosure, and preferably keep anything that you don't want the reptile getting to, you know, out of their reach. So uh, that would include the pins and plus a little extra length. So 
let's see if I have a jumper cable here. Yeah. We're going to just plug one in like that. And we're going to measure how far down that goes. So that's 45 right here. And let's give it another five millimeters. So that's 50 right there. So let's change that dimension to 50. Okay, so that's gonna be the inside space that the DHT occupies. Now we have to think about keeping water and uh, moisture off the top of it or getting to it. So uh, the easiest way to do that would be to just close off the top and the sides and keep the bottom open. So um, we also need to think about keeping water from traveling along the wire and getting up onto it. So we're going to need, want the wire to come down like this first so the water can run down. Let's see, is it focusing? Yeah. So the water can run down and then drip off here instead of, you know, maybe mounting it like this. And if water gets on the wire up here, then running down and getting on the electronics, that'd be bad. So just a simple way to keep water off of it is to put it inside, close off the top, and to let the wires come down like this, and they'll just drip off like that. And you can, once you put them on there, you can glue them or uh, you can just solder them directly onto the board. Either one will work. Uh, so if someone puts their claw on it, it doesn't just pop off. You don't want that. Uh, but worst case, you can just reattach it. It's not a big deal. So we're going to need room for the wires to come back up behind it. So we're going to need like a little pocket that these can go through. So we can do that. But what we're going to do first is extrude our main part of the body. We're going to give it, what should we give it? I think the wall thickness is 0.4. I don't know, those are the layers. Uh, wall thickness is 2, I think. Let's just do 2, two millimeters. Oh. Offset two millimeters. Except this down here, that's where the DHT is going to go in. So we need to open it up. Oops. Bam. Extrude that. Whoa. Ah, they changed 2018. They change how it rotates, or like a setting change or something, a default, and like I can't lay it down like I wanted to. Maybe that's because it's on the front plane. I think it is, because usually I start at the top plane, um, and I don't have a problem with it. So I think it's just because we started on the front plane. But anyway, <clears throat> let's measure how tall this is. Um, that's going to be with that down. It is seven and a half millimeters. So let's measure this one. A little under seven and a half. So we'll give it. Let's just give it a full centimeter. Give it a full centimeter. Boom! It's already on ten. There we go. So this is where our uh, she's gonna slide up into. So we need to add a back and a front um, and you can do this lots of different ways. I'm going to make this three millimeters a little thicker. Uh, you can do this lots of different ways but uh, I'm just doing it this way. I've probably picked up some bad habits. I've never been like uh, formally trained in SOLIDWORKS or anything, so uh, there's probably a few things that if you're an expert and like certified or something, you're like, oh my god, don't do it like that. Um, sorry. Uh, anywho, so yeah, there's your box. Uh, the DHT is going to go in there. Uh, it's open to the air through the bottom right here 
right here and it's closed off on top so you don't have to worry about water dripping onto it or anything. Now next you're going to have to make a channel for the wires and what we're going to do is just do that. Uh, let's see how wide is this? 24. Okay, so depending on how you want to mount this, um, I don't know if uh, what exactly you'd want to use. A lot of people, if I say anything right now about putting something in a reptile enclosure, people are going to scream at me. So use whatever your uh, research um, leads you to to adhere this to the inside of your reptile enclosure or whatever you're using to uh, whatever you're using this to measure. Um, if it's not like a pet or something, it's probably not a big deal. But let's see how big our jumpers are. I'm going to make it big enough for these, the little black ends on the jumper. Those things. I'm going to make it big enough for three of those to fit through. Um, you probably don't need to because you're going to run it up through first. So if you do that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, but you're probably going to put it through first and keep them in there and then adhere it. So it's not a big deal, but that's what I'm going to do. You have to have a reason for everything you do. Um, so they are 2.74. So let's just say three millimeters each. And that gives it a little bit of wiggle room. Let's say, let's give each one four. That'll be, I'll give it plenty of extra room. So that's a total of 12 millimeters. And this is 24, so that's six on each side. Praxis exploring all his new uh, enclosure stuff. And what did I say? We're gonna treat each one as four mils. Yeah. So it's 12, yeah, to four mils. So we're going to extrude both of these four mils. And then we are going to close it off. So you have more surface to adhere to your enclosure, the side of your enclosure. And then let's see, we said two mils. So let's round off um, those corners to make sure nothing can injure itself on here. One, one's probably enough. Let's see how close does that make it. That's a little too close. Okay, yeah. I mean, you put rocks in reptile enclosures and stuff, so shouldn't be too terribly concerned about this. Um, okay, that should be good. Uh, okay, so you got DHT slides up in here, then you're gonna loop your wires down and come up through here so that way if any water gets on the wires it drips down and off and then it's going to come up and most likely your controllers on the outside of the enclosure anyway so it'll come up and then you can just run it out of the enclosure easy peasy lemon squeezy and that is how you do it okay guys um that's it it's saved i will upload it to thingiverse uh, when i upload the video so it should be ready to go as soon as the video goes public um feel free to download it and use it uh, if you do use it you know hit me up on instagram the description or the my tag is in the description as well um please follow me on instagram a lot of times i'll post stuff about projects there that i don't uh put in videos, uh, you know, just some fun behind the scenes kind of stuff. This is going to be used in conjunction with another project that I've got going now. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful and maybe you could transfer the knowledge to anything else. Yeah, so just be sure to be kind to someone today and I will see you next time.
Deuces. If you mess with raspberry pies, get this header for at least one of them, and you can always use that as reference, or like, I use this zero as like my prototyping one, and I can I can always see what's what, and I know what pin to stick it onto without having to look up the pin out every time. Um, yeah, super useful. Uh, Adafruit.com, I think is where I bought it. Yeah, that's where I bought it from. Um, I think it's like three bucks. It's kind of expensive for what it is, honestly, but as helpful as it is, you know, you're spending three bucks once, game on. Uh, so yeah, boom. I need to clean all this crap up. Uh, I'm reorganizing a lot of my reptile stuff, so. There's a, oh, <laughs> there's a lizard on me. Thank you, I didn't see him. Ah, hey, easy buddy. Ah, his nails are so sharp. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, okay. Ooh. Okay, anyway, I'll end it there. Deuces, guys.